Smashing Sebastian with Deep Down and Dirty Radio. Hi, welcome to another Deep Down and Dirty Brackets 3D episode. This podcast is all about old school hip hop tracks and the forming of the music movement called hip hop. It began in 1973, but it became a household music phenomenon mid 80s, just like the opening track Lottie Dottie. Hip hop's birth was in 1973. Rapper's Delight, Sugar Hill Gang, uh, was the first rap song officially released on a record label. This was in 1979. We have to thank Sylvia Robertson for that. A great female soul singer, uh, writer, producer and also co-wrote uh, the rap song Rapper's Delight back then. Uh, as you hear, it was a lot of funk and disco sounds back then. According to hip-hop innovator Cool Herc, it even started with emceeing and toasting on dancehall and reggae beats early in the 70s. You also hear some tracks this show that are examples of hip hop records in the 80s. Some of the Pee Wee Dance, Fresh is the Word, Rap's New Generation, all sounded a little more electronic than the Curtis Blow Breaks and Sugar Hill Records five years earlier to that. We'll continue gradually in hip hop tracks sounding from 85 and how it's developed. BDP came out with South Bronx and The Bridge is Over, but Marley Ma of the Juice Crew came out with some great gems and you'll be hearing them later on also. You probably noticed that most early hip hop sounded funky. It became electro sounding with scratches and becoming more and more sample based since the mid 80s. Electronic drum kits and loop based tracks examples are Rock the Bells, Peter Piper and Public Enemy's Time Bomb, showing it's basically a funk loop throughout the whole song. Production quality became better. The introduction of the Akai sampler SP1200 was a game changer for the hip hop world. It was an expensive piece of equipment you could sample records with and create loops and get real creative with in production. Since it was a few thousand dollars, not everyone could afford it, so mostly the signed hip-hop acts and artists getting uh, paid up front with their deals could afford it and have the access to good studio equipment. Let's listen to more sound evolvement. You probably noticed that most early hip-hop sounded funky. It became electro sounding with scratches and becoming more and more sample based since the mid 80s. Electronic drum kits and loop based tracks examples are Rock the Bells, Peter Piper and Public Enemy's Time Bomb, showing it's basically a funk loop throughout the whole song. Marley Marl did Mighty Mike and Shooting the Gift remixes and is a big name in hip hop that you hear, uh, but not as often as it should because he's behind more rap tracks you probably think. Curtis Mantronic is also a name behind of a lot of production of many acts like uh, Just Ice, Teela Rock and female singer Joyce Sims. With Teela Rock, Mantronic's made Bass Machine. You also hear in this episode, uh, we're ending with my version of Bass Machine, also featuring super rapper Teela Rock. The most recent songs in hip hop in this episode are probably Craig G, Public Enemy, Eric B and Rakim, and Kid and Play around 1986 and 1987. We'll have other show specials coming up with different subjects, uh, going from the Golden Hip Hop release year 1988 and beyond, the evolution of rap and hip hop till this day. We'll also have some dope casts about cut and paste records. Think of DJ edit tracks like Fat Man Scoop, Be Faithful and Follow for now. But also about uh, the rise of Electronica, Chicago House and evolving uh, of uh, the evolvement of club culture all to uh, what it's become now. And of course how it will be in the future since this uh, 2020 pandemic. But also we show about dance hall and it's still relevance today. Uh, a sequel to street uh, revolving rap gems and all about guns, gangs and gangster rap. A special on Google's Jazz Mataz albums and his other projects. Duck Down record label on groups like Black Moon, and Smith Wesson and so on. Uh, hard to find hip hop tracks like rare collaborations, special remixes and edits uh, you only saw on Yo MTV raps or broadcasted. Uh, special music blogs and not available in stores officially released or on the well-known stream services. So real premieres and collective stuff. A lot of subjects to still touch and deep out. Hopefully uh, you'll hear us soon at Deep Down and Dirty aka 3D Dopecast hosted by me Smashing Sebastian. Bless you until next time. Smashing Sebastian with Deep Down and Dirty Radio.